Action. <laughs> yeah. Hello again. It's been a while and a few things have changed and so we're going to have to do a little bit of time traveling again um, as usual life and lots of stuff going on. Lots of good things. My wife is probably three weeks out from having our next baby so that's really exciting. We're having another girl in case you're wondering and so that makes three girls. So I'm completely outnumbered but that's okay. Uh, so what else has been going on? I've been busy and as you can see I have a new workbench. Uh, this has been here all the way along, it's just been hiding way up there, uh, crammed against the wall and quite frankly uh, just being wasted. It became a dumping ground so I've been doing a bit of sorting, I've been doing a bit of building um, and slowly but surely getting this place organised and ready for uh, full-scale production of Stoves. Is that a watermelon you're hiding under there? No. No? Is it our next child? Yes. Is she due like... In two weeks. In two weeks? But technically any moment. She wouldn't be considered preemie if she was born like now. Yeah. Hey, that'd make a really exciting video. Sure it would. Yep, sorry folks. Back to the tea and crumpets. Something else that's pretty exciting that's happened is this MacroWeld Intercut CNC Plasma Cutter. This is a major upgrade for me and really means I can do rapid prototyping now. But I'll go into that later. Some of you may have been wondering about these um, holes and slots and things, and they are purely there for alignment purposes. So this is the inside of the stove. If I line up the holes. And voila, there you have it. And then once that's all put together, that part then goes in there. and gets welded in place and I'll pack it all with insulation before uh, welding the top on. So when designing a rocket stove there's a few things you need to keep in mind particularly with this gravity feed type. Uh, I get a lot of questions uh, people sending me pictures of their rocket stove saying why isn't it working and nine times out of ten it's simply because the the riser is too short and the feeding tube is too long and so what happens is uh, you need a, an adequate amount of draw from your riser so that the, the, uh, the fire doesn't creep back up your feeding tube. So this is, your, this is a gravity feed rocket stove. I, 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 know, I call them a K-type because it kind of looks like a little K. And, um, and basically, if you're not getting enough draw, the fire will creep up where you don't want it. And this feeding tube becomes a competing riser. Uh, a way to resolve this is to uh, block off this bottom intake. This is more or less here for ash clearance. Now there is a rule, uh, there's like a three to one rule where uh, the normal rocket, rocket stove law says that if your feeding tube is X long, X amount long, then your riser needs to be three times longer. And that is the golden rule. If, you're, if, if size isn't an issue, if, if you're not trying to fit this thing in the back of your car like I am, um, then you really want a, a much longer riser. Now, I have a feeling that I'll be able to get this to work. I'll be able to tune it, and I'm just giving it a go. But, you know, we're, I'm prototyping. So this is the whole um, the design process. This is the stuff I like to do, um, is, is sort of push the limits and just see what can you get away with. How small can you get this sucker? and still have it work really well. That, that's why I'm little Aussie rockets. I, I don't want to make, I can make massive rocket stoves, but uh, I want something portable. I want something that I can 
have in the back of the ute, the car. Um, I want something that I can take with me camping. So that's why I, I like making small things. So I was able to draw and cut, clean and fold all these parts in uh, basically in a day. Uh, assembly sort of happened over a couple of days as time permitted, but the this is the fantastic thing about this CNC plasma table that I've got now is uh, I can really bust out a job so much quicker than I could having compared to doing it all by hand, uh, which is really um, where it's at for me. I, I'm I'm sort of time poor if that makes sense, and I've got to really work on doing things in a more efficient manner, just so I can even produce more content, more videos as. As, as you all know, I, I've been sort of, uh, haven't been around, and that's just uh, life at the moment. But uh, this plasma table really helped me be more consistent in making um, content. So, yeah, you won't see as much grinding and as cutting for some of my videos now, but uh, I hope you understand that it's just, uh, for me, it's really a, a matter at the moment of getting these jobs done getting the prototypes made so that I can keep going and still be a, uh, have time for family and, and all the other things in life that happen. Okay, so all around the, uh, the firebox now, the, the, ch the fire chamber and the riser, I'm going to stuff this um, rock wall. So, uh, and then, where is it? I'm going to pour down this side some perlite that'll go right down the bottom. But I need to fill these outside cavities first so the perlite doesn't go everywhere. down on there. This is absolutely nothing fancy, um, just got it from the local hardware shop. Uh, 
The mixture's a bit wet, but that's okay because that insulation, that rock wall is just going to pull, pull the moisture out of it real quick. <coughs> so, I want to give it half a chance. All I'm doing is just tr wanting to seal the top. Um, so. Just enough to seal it, put a cap on it. I don't think I've got enough. I'm going to need some more. I'm hoping that the fibres, the insulation fibres, will sort of bond with that a bit and sort of um, reinforce the plaster. Okay, now that can go... Something like that on top. So you know the old saying, if it looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, acts like a duck, according to Facebook fact checker, it's a squirrel. Well. Okay, let's. We have our new rocket stove here. It's amazing. This is where the marshmallow goes. It is not. It is not. And um, this is just a thing that lets all the smoke out into Daddy's life. Well, but you got that part right. Lana, get out of the way! <laughs> Daddy, where is the final moment? <gasps> the grand opening! <laughs> Just wait, 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 wait. Let it get going. Yeah. It's still getting going. Just no marshmallows yet, okay? Yeah. How's your watermelon going? She likes it. She's she... from Aldi. Wow. It's probiotic chocolate. You've got your, you enjoyed yours. And sadly, Aaron's marshmallow ended up on the ground. This is going really well. We have no smoke. Um, Mom, it's, 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 it's so not burning quiet. back up the feeding tube. And the outside of it is um, is only warm. It's, it gets hotter as it goes towards the top, but down the bottom, it's actually still cold. Okay, it's 4.20. Let's see how long it takes for that to boil. That's full of room temperature water. Okay, well that took about 10 minutes. It really isn't bad, and I think it would have even been quicker. What I can see, this is really surprising, is that I can actually have a gap on both sides, and the whole stove runs hotter and more efficiently, which is not really surprising there, but it's really good to see. So I think I might, I'll remake this pot holder to bridge both openings, and so you'd literally be able to put one on one side and one on the other and really get a decent output. Obviously this side will be a little bit hotter but that's going to work really well. So the oven attachment didn't work. It ended up getting a lot of condensation inside of it and so I ended up abandoning that idea and I didn't even bother showing the build footage because it was um, there was really no point. Though 
it did give me an idea. And as always, you usually learn more from your failures uh, than you do your successes. And so what I ended up doing uh, was this. Okay, we've got some scones. The oven is up to temperature. That just clips. And there you go. Um, what do you think, my love? Beautiful. Is it good for a hungry pregnant woman? Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> and somebody else made a surprise appearance. More on that later. Thanks, guys, for watching.